Welcome back again toy fans to this weekend's car boot haul. Alright guys, it is uh, Saturday and I've just been back from the car boot. Uh, cold morning, it was definitely a cold morning but the sky was blue, sun was out and it was a lot bigger this week than last week so this was the second week it was running. So while the weather's dry, still dry, um, I'm going to make the most of it even though I am up early tomorrow because it is the NEC Toy Fair which I will be out with neighbourhood toy sellers. So um, guys if you're in the area, in the Birmingham area, come down to the NEC, stop by the stall, say hi. It means a lot to me when you guys uh, come up saying I watch your vids, the support is very much appreciated. If you haven't so far please make sure you like the video and you are subscribed to the channel. Right, so, first of all, the first thing I've got, was a Flipped Pink Ranger. Flipped works. So, what I normally do is, I always start off, at, I, religiously I start at one end, but what I tend to do is that, when everyone sort of walks into the car boot, they sort of follow, everyone sort of goes right, and then follows a certain way. I always tend to try and cut through one row randomly and sort of reverse walk to where everyone else is doing. I don't know why, it's just saying I. It's one of those little quirky things that I do. But luckily, down that one aisle that I did walk down, I did see this on the stall. So I think I've got a spare gun for her and the bow. So good, good find to start off with. Second score were these two modern Voltron figures. So I've seen these in like the entertainer and everything, but I haven't really looked too much into them. But I guess these these are based on the uh I'm assuming they're based on the Netflix um Voltron show. So Another cool little find, something a bit different. First time I ever bought Voltron, even though it's modern Voltron from a car boot. So maybe that's the sort of stuff that'll be in this year's car boot. Really, they like finally these sort of figures have made it to car boot season, which kind of will go well with these ones as well, because these are relatively new. And I bought these in a bundle. Hasbro's. Now these are the Hasbro classics. So pretty cool. Put these in a nice bundle. Again, obviously Rock's got a bit of play wear on him, but it's no problem. And obviously, if you don't know, they've uh, redesigned your cane there as well. So they've basically redesigned the um, newer wrestlers, or say newer, more modern wrestlers, in that classic Hasbro design from the 90s. So that's cool, very nostalgic for a lot of collectors, I know a lot of people are after them, and I know some of them go for silly money, but again, a cool little find, and maybe that is again the sort of stuff that will be coming into car boots this season. Next find is from, no, it will be from... The guy you probably heard me mention before, I'm going to save probably the best bit till last, but from Grant, who I got this wicked mo first movie, Yellow Ranger, from uh, the movie line. So, I now just need the Pink Ranger in this line to complete the set. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but they're all down there. Oops. Anyway. They'll go down there, so it's one for my own self. He also had this for sale, which is wicked. Which is the Morpher. So the Power Ranger Morpher. Make sure the coin doesn't fall out. I need to get some batteries in it just to make sure it works. But I can't imagine Grant would have sold me anything that didn't. Got a few coins, so we got the Triceratops. We got two, I think we got two Triceratops coins. Uh, Mastodon Tiger so we just need the um, 
pterodactyl to go with that tiger, sorry, saber tooth. So again, that's a great find for a boot fair. Because they are very sought after. After that, I picked these up from one stall. I only picked this up really to just bulk out the deal really, but uh, I believe it's Pokemon, one of the newer Pokemons. Um, it's pretty cool looking. Uh, again, my sort of knowledge and everything of Pokemon is the first two gens, because that's what I grew up with, and then after that I sort of, it all just, I was too old for it and it all doesn't mean anything much to me anymore, but again, like I said, I mainly picked these two guys up, and she said I could have a third one. So we've got Shocker here. Oh, cool, so... You wind this up, and uh, it sort of vibrates, sort of thing. A bit weird. Haven't really seen that on a toy. It's missing two missiles, but again, not too bothered. It's a cool figure. I do like the Shocker. He was one of my favourite um, of the bad guys. Can't go into a car boot without finding one or two Star Wars figures, and this week I've got a General Grievous. Uh, this is, I'm not too sure which line this is from, he's obviously missing lightsabers, a gun and his coat, but um, Grievous is a cool figure, so I'm looking forward to getting my Black Series one of them. So, again, that was one little deal. Next in the list of things I've got was these three. So, this is obviously... A bootleg of some sort. I kind of like it. Kind of goes with the whole Green Ranger vibe I've got going up there. I'm not too sure. It's got um, 1994 Lanard. I don't know if that is actually from something. But again, like I said, if you do know where that's from, just throw it down in the comments. But it's a cool little figure. But it was these two that I was more interested in. Now, my knowledge of what is a Hasbro, uh, what is a G.I. Joe and what is a Action Force figure is very limited. So I've taken a bun, uh, taken a gamble on these two. They could be Hasbro, uh, sorry, could be G.I. Joe. They could be Action Force. I'm not entirely sure. So if you do know, let me know before I do any research. Uh, I found a thing the number on it. So this one is 1991 Hasbro. Cool samurai kind of looking dude. And this guy again is Hasbro 1990. Camouflage looking fella. So yeah, pretty cool. Got all them together. Great. It's great when you sort of see other toy sellers and they're they're running round, well, toy buyers and they're running round and they're picking up Star Wars figures or Imagine X figures or stuff like that. And you're just like, you come in and they've bought a load of dinosaurs or a load of Imagine X and everything, and they're all scrapping over that. And you just see these three just sitting on the stall and there's no one's bothering picking them up. And you just, it's always great. Because you see them walk around, and there's a couple like obviously when you go to the boot fairs, you you will see the, you see the same people walking around, and I don't know. Sometimes you sort of see a little bit of a uh, smugness on their face, like they've got there before you. But mate, you take all the Imagine X you want. I'll pick these up all day long. Next two, next one it was in just a random, random lot of figures. One of those sellers that just dump a load of figures out on the floor and you can just rummage through, it had loads of random stuff, but so I picked up this uh, Detective Donny. it's really cool, especially again, like I said, it's cool watching people rummage through and like picking out the Star Wars figures and everything, just, but then all, uh, again, I'll quite happily take a Turtle, Playmates, 1990, Mirage Studios, And last but not least, which I think is going to be again for me, 
because I'm starting to possibly keep and have my own sort of Power Ranger bad guy shelf. So this one is, I think I've actually got the weapon for him in my spares. Can't remember what he's called, Space Ram Monster. It's a bit loose and he sort of gets stuck. I don't think his uh, arms are supposed to bend that way. That's a cool figure, especially again, just on a, another random stall, just in with a load of other stuff. He's got his horns, which I've seen a lot of them, these are busted off. It's a cool figure. And yes, we are now on to the last but not least bit. So again, I bought this of Grant. Um, he's another he's a big Power Ranger fan, so it was a. I don't mind. I've I'm denying whether to keep it or not because I've got a funny feeling somewhere in the loft I've got a box for this, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. But for a car boot find, it's up there. It's a box Falcon Zord from the third series of Power Rangers. So, this is again, like I said, it's a wicked find for a car boot. There we go. It's all in there. Stickers have been applied, but it's got his instructions in there, which is great. There's a clean bird as well. Like, again, this is. Oh, that sound. Both feet are intact, all the clips are intact. Again, this is very much one follows with white toys with the coating they have on them. These do yellow very easily. So to get it nice and prime in this sort of white colour is good. Like I said, all the stickers are in place. So it was a good find. So I might keep it for a bit, then decide to move it on, but haven't quite decided on that yet. Let's get it back in there. So, that was it. That was my Saturday morning finds. Uh, again, like I said, I'm not doing a car boot on Sunday. The following weekend is Easter, so I'm hopefully planning on doing uh, Saturday um, I'm with Vic, so hopefully we can get Vic down to a car boot sale. Excuse me, on uh, Sunday, Monday. So I'm looking forward to it. I can't remember. It's Good Friday. Do they do Good Friday a car boot day as well? It's gonna be four days of car boots next week. Might have to look that up. I've got a funny feeling it might be. Result. Anyway, guys, that is it. That was my little find from Saturday morning. Not too bad. If you haven't liked or you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. It does mean a lot to me. Um, if you're not following me on other social medias, I'll put links below for my Instagram and Facebook. And guys, I hopefully see you at the NEC on Sunday the 14th. If you don't know what the NEC is, it is the UK's biggest toy fair. Um, retro toys, modern toys, they'll all be there. Um, they'll be cheaper and better prices than at the Comic Cons. So, trust me, it's a real good day out. Loads of sellers, loads of really nice, good, friendly sellers. And it's just an all-around good day. All right, guys. So, until next week, see you later.